Lisa, my name is Dr. Jackie Williams. I'm a professor in the Department of Radiation Oncology in the James P. Wilmot Cancer Center. So I'm sure a lot of you have been hearing on the news a lot about radiation and its effects. And so we thought we'd talk today about what radiation is really all about and uh, just to give you some more background on, on the effects of radiation and, and everything else that's being talked about. So there's all sorts of radiation. Radiation is around us all the time. We, everyone on the planet is uh, getting irradiated every day because radiation comes from the sun, radiation comes from the ground, radiation comes from microwaves. If you're a smoker, you get even more radiation. So um, radiation is, is something that we live with. Everybody lives with it. When you're using the whole term radiation, you're talking about everything from light all the way out to um, the radiation we hear about that comes out of nuclear bombs. It's all part of the same spectrum. So what happens is when you get wave energy, so light is a wave energy, and at some point if the waves get bigger and the energy gets more intense, it goes to, gets to a threshold point at which point you leave light, it goes through the ultraviolet ultraviolet range. Once it goes beyond ultraviolet, you're into what's called ionizing radiation. So ionizing radiation, when it interacts with cells, the energy will enter the cell. And as I said, it interacts with the molecule. So the way we have, we get it as ionizing is there's enough energy to literally knock an electron off the outside orbit of, a, of an atom. That will leave a positively charged molecule and an electron that shoots off. That electron, if it's got enough energy, can hit another molecule and hit another electron off. And it will keep going and every time it has a collision, it will lose energy to, the, to a, some point at which the, the electron, the whole process will stop. But each time it leaves behind a positively charged molecule. Now we all know that positively charged molecules, they don't like existing in this excited state, so they look for spare electrons and they come back down, they eventually will return to their stable state. But in the meantime, they're all emitting energy. And that's what's doing the damage. So if that damage is in, for example, the DNA in a cell, then you might actually cause a break in the DNA molecule. And it's the DNA damage that's actually considered to be the most lethal effect of a radiation. So if you have enough dose and you cause enough damage to the DNA, cells die. So the worst effect that you can get from radiation is it will kill cells. Coming down a step, you can cause the damage, but you'll get DNA repair. At that point, the cell is fine. And then you've got the intermediate step where there's enough damage caused that the cell can go on and live, but it still has a certain degree of damage. And that's the big scary point at which we have DNA mutations. Some of the misconceptions that are, that are being heard is um, talking a lot about dose. So you're hearing that um, immediately outside the gates of the Japanese nuclear reactors, there's these big spikes in irradiation, and they're a million times background or a thousand times background. Here's number one. Background, though I've talked about all the different sources of, of radiation, background radiation is still very low. And therefore, when you're talking about a million times very low, you're still talking about very low. When they're then talking about the fact that the, the workers within the plant, and certainly the workers within the plant, um, the Japanese workers within the plant, are very likely to be getting high doses of irradiation, but they may only get them for a short period of time. That's another thing that's not being talked about. Remember I said about time. So you could have a, a short burst of irradiation, and if it's not prolonged, um, it's still not a very large amount of irradiation. So again, it's, it's the, the, scare, the scary factor. And then again, it, talking about increases in, in cancer. So we've heard a lot about increases in cancer. Again, we don't know because the majority of people will only be exposed to low doses, if any dose at all. And uh, at that stage, it's pure speculation as to what the increases in cancer are going to be.